everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Kelsey today I've got on a little summer dress the birds are chirping the windows are open it's a beautiful day and we are going to be doing the summer trend alert I saw you guys requesting this and in all honesty I kind of forgot about it I don't want to rush spring I love every season so I like to like really soak it in and enjoy it while it is here but it is going to be summer soon, so I figured it is time to do the summer trend alert. Because of quarantine, I've been wearing like lounge clothes so much, so I knew I wanted to wear something special in this video. So I put on this adorable little white summer dress, but because of that, I wanted to mention the trends that I'm gonna talk about in this video. I decided to do sort of like a half and half because I don't really know what's going to happen this summer. Like if people are going to be able to like go out and travel or if this is going to be extended to the sort of like staying inside sort of thing. So I have a lot of like staying inside, very like comfy but still summer cute sort of trends. And then also a little bit more like extra fashion like going out sort of trends. But obviously you can dress comfortable going out and you can also look nice while staying in. So all of the trends are still relevant but I decided to like mix in a lot more like casual like comfy trends trends, which is a lot of stuff I've been seeing anyways. So the first trend that I want to talk about, I've even worn and everybody has been wearing right now, it is the knit or and or cotton summer set. I know that wearing knit sounds a little bit weird for the summer, but it can still be super cute if they're like knit shorts and like a little like knit crop t-shirt. I have tons of sets like this that I've been buying and wearing like crazy. As always, I'll have some photos on the screen um, because I normally don't have the best descripting words. But yeah, these sets have been adorable. I've talked about sets in the trend alert before, like in general, I just love the look of matching sets. So that has been a trend that's sort of like lasted a really long time. But now bringing it into the summer, talking less about like blazers and dress pants, but more of like a comfortable, thin, flowing, sort of like cotton or knit like shorts and top set. And sweaters are still totally appropriate for the summer, like especially lounging on the beach. You know, at night it gets sort of chilly when you're by the water, it's like naturally cooler. So I love like the look of just like throwing a little knit like right on top of your bathing suit, really adorable and even more adorable if you have matching little shorts. The next trend that I have, this is so predictable for me that you guys are gonna laugh if you're not new to this channel and you know me, um, the trend is all white. I feel like that's something that's classic for the summer. It comes back every summer and I wear it a lot, but I feel like I've been seeing a lot more people wear it, even people that aren't like me that have like a monochrome sort of closet. Um, the all white look has been sort of really popular right now, especially with the sets. I've seen a lot of people wearing like all white sets or just like white dresses white t-shirts with white linen pants, like the all white look has just been sort of really big right now for spring and summer. I'm really happy about that trend because it's something I wear a lot, obviously white is my favorite color to wear. It gives that minimalistic, sleek, simplistic look that I just really adore. But the next trend that I have sort of contrasts with that. So I'm gonna talk about a trend that I actually surprisingly have started like venturing out of the box with fashion. I never like to stay stuck in the box, I always like to be a little bit fashionably ambiguous and get creative and try new things so I have forced myself to try this trend because even though it's not my personal style I like it and like I admire it when I see it on other people this past fashion week I went to the Copenhagen fashion week and like everywhere you go depending on culture there's different types of fashion so I love like incorporating that because I love travel so much into my own style so in the sort of like Norwegian area and like northern Europe they have like their own style and I gotta tell you it's probably one of my favorites I just called it like Norwegian pastels but it's just pastels but there is like a way to wear the pastels without looking like you're in the third grade. You have to pick like a key piece that would be like your little pop of color and wear it with your still like minimalistic simplistic outfit so that it's not like overboard and over the top. I mean of course this goes with your personal style that's how I would style it. Like say if I had like a little white knit set like a white knit t-shirt with little white knit shorts and I have like this honey yellow little sweater I would like tie around like the top or something like that. I have right now like this really light sky blue it's like a silky blouse from Zara and then to wear that with like white little like knit pants or like light gray joggers or something like that is really cute just to add like a little hint of it into your outfit. I've been seeing these pastel colors like crazy so so much and surprisingly I've been liking it. I think it's just because like I love that whole like spring summer. I love flowers. My fashion isn't always influenced by other fashion. I can get inspired in my fashion by like the most random things. It can literally be like my outfit is inspired by flowers that are in my room today. So I like adding sort of new things like that into my outfit. So I've been seeing that trend and I wanted to talk about it. My next trend is something that I've been wearing for a long time and I don't know how I never thought to like say it as a trend. It's basically to wear really loud bling with a really casual outfit, but I don't mean to wear a lot of bling. It's gotta be like one selective like statement piece 
to wear with like your casual goods. So yeah, I think that that looks really cool and I've been seeing it more and more. I'll see girls wearing like their nightgowns on Instagram and like robes with a face mask on and then they'll have like a diamond necklace. And I'm like, why does it look so good together? Like you would never think to wear a diamond necklace with your robe but it looks so pretty. Wearing like my rhinestone rings with it and just like one like a rhinestone like necklace, like not overdoing the accessories, but definitely wearing like dressier accessories with a non-dressy outfit. I really like the juxtaposition of that and I've also talked about that in Trend Alerts before of like juxtaposition of fashion, like wearing two things that aren't necessarily the same style and mixing them together. That is like a classic for me. I've been loving that for years and I always tend to do that. Okay, the next trend I'm kind of like partial on because like I can see that something's a trend, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I like it. I'm like, I like it, but I'm nervous to wear it. There are certain things that like I feel like in my mind, I know every girl has this, where you're just like, I can't pull that off. This is one of those trends that I'm nervous, I can't pull it off. So I don't actually own this trend yet. Like I haven't bought it for summer something big that i see is these chunky sandals so it started with these like chanel they sort of look like those like when you go hiking like those little like hippie velcro sandals i don't even know what they're called but chanel came out with a pair of them and so many people have been rocking them and making them look so good but like they've grown on me which is really weird so i kind of want to try them out not going to say i'm going to go out and buy a chanel pair because i only like to like invest in designer pieces that are classics and i know i'm going to use and love for years so i might just buy like a pair like a normal pair see how I like it I've been seeing girls style them up like with like long maxi silk skirts and like making them look so cute and then sometimes I see girls wearing them like really simple with like jeans and like a little white t-shirt and I'm really nervous to try it out but I've been seeing them everywhere they're so so popular right now I think it like it's like a power move when I see a girl pull it off and I'm like wow that girl really she has something going for her if she's wearing those ugly shoes and making them look so cute and the next trend is one of my favorite trends because again this is something I've been wearing a lot that I'm really happy I see tons of people wearing kind of sort of rocking that right now not exactly but it's really dramatic beach dresses I've always loved the concept of like going to the beach and wearing a dress, but I usually wear something really casual, like either thin, like a slip dress or like a little wrap dress, something that's like an easy cover up over a bathing suit. But I love like wearing a long maxi, like dramatic, stunning dress on the beach. Now I don't mean anything uncomfortable, like not like a prom dress, like still wearing a comfortable dress. Honestly, with those little chunky Chanel sandals and like my bathing suit underneath, I love that look of wearing a dramatic dress to the beach. And then for the last trend, I wanted to add like a beauty sort of trend because beauty definitely goes hand in hand with fashion. So this is a hair trend and I feel like this is sort of like an every summer thing. So this is a classic. You can't go wrong with this. And all I've been seeing is the messy, like no fuss hair. Last summer, I feel like it was the sleek hair. I was wearing sleek hair like every day, like sleek ballerina buns, sleek pulled back ponytails, like the sleek side part with like hair straight. That was like the look last summer. This summer, I think it's that like messy, no fuss, like untamed hair. I'm just sort of like messy blowouts. That's like my favorite look right now, like wearing it down, messy blowouts, like having like my little fringe come down and like a big bold texture, spraying it with some wave spray, exactly like mermaid hair. But like when I think of mermaid hair, I think of like put together like constructed soft waves. Like I'm talking about like the messy sort of beachy hair. I've been loving that and I've been seeing long fringe and I know for quarantine, I'm surprised. I have not touched my hair yet. Most girls have been like touching their hair, dyeing their hair, cutting their bangs. I have not touched my hair in quarantine yet, but I'm really tempted to do a long fringe because when I see these like messy, like beachy hair looks with like these long blonde, like untamed locks, I'm like, they're so pretty. And a lot of the times I'll notice they have like a long fringe, which is basically like a grown out bang, if you will. I'm kind of debating if I should cut that yet or not because it's a big, Big commitment. Let's hope I have the courage to do that. But those are all of the summer trends that I have for this trend alert. I hope that we get to have an amazing summer, but that everybody stays happy and safe and healthy. And if you are at home, don't be afraid to still look cute and have fun getting dressed up because that is literally what makes me feel normal. It makes me feel happy. I do these seasonally, so make sure to subscribe to my channel for more fashion videos. And I post videos every single Friday. Also, make sure to check out my social media. I'll either have it on the screen here or in the description below. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.